All right, we're here. This will be a pretty sweet little spot. All right, two rods set up. Let's do this. Bell, 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 bell. Let him run, let him run, let him run. Big time, big time, big time, big time. It's going. Oh my God, look at that rod. Oh my God, baby, let's go. Look at that thing. <laughs> that is what we came here for. That is a river monster right there. What is up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Super, super stoked about this video, guys. This is an awesome one. To set a little bit of a backstory on this trip, there's a river very close to where we live here in North Carolina. It's called the Cape Fear River, and it's one of the biggest and oldest rivers and watersheds in the entire state. And the name of the game with the Cape Fear, as far as fishing is concerned, it all revolves around catfish. Both flatheads and blue catfish get extremely big in this river system. The North Carolina state record flathead catfish was caught not too far from where we decided to go fishing in this video. So the goal, catch a giant flathead catfish out of the Cape Fear. And we decided to stay up all night, camp out out there to do just that. We had to get live brim, live bluegill, so we spent some time at CJ's Pond getting some live brim. We got prepared with some other stuff that we needed to stay out there all night, and then we set out to a spot that actually Levi's dad owns. He's got a little stretch of land on the Cape Fear, on the banks of the Cape Fear, which made it super easy for us to access the river, get set up on an awesome spot, and get to fishing. Again, guys, this is a good one. You're gonna wanna watch all the way to the end. All I'll say is persistence pays off. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Y'all, we're getting ready to set up and fish and everything, but y'all gotta check this out real quick. Y'all see all those little things hopping around? They look like little bugs. They're everywhere. Millions of them. Those are frogs. <laughs> like, those are not even bugs. Look, look at this. Look at that. Look at them. Millions. They're everywhere. I've never seen this many frogs in my life. I mean, it's like... I, it's like a whole colony of them, dude. It swarms. But guys, just check out how beautiful it is here. I mean, this is this is awesome. You really couldn't ask for a better setup, right here on the water. We're gonna get a fire going like right here and have our rods in the water right here, and be pretty much set. This is this is an awesome little situation here. Oh my. It is soggy outside and we're gonna cheat with the starter log. Oh, I don't know what they make that out of. But... And on top of the starter log, we got some fat wood. So we should have flames for quite a while. All right guys, so here's the uh, fishing situation. Uh, this is this is gonna be probably our main rod closest to the camp. And what we've got though, we've got four other rods, or actually three other rods, four in total. And uh, pretty much they're all gonna be rigged up the same. They're gonna have essentially like a Carolina rig on them. It's got a weight with a sliding snap swivel on it. We've got the snap so we can change out weights easy. We're dealing with some current, so we don't know exactly how much weight we'll need to keep that bait still. And then, uh, you know, probably about a two foot liter in this case, a 40 pound mono to a six aught, uh, just a straight shank hook. So that should be pretty good. We're gonna hook these bluegill like right in the back. In fact, let me grab one real quick. All right guys, there's our bait right there. That's a pretty big one. You know, that's a, that's a good size, you know, catfish bait though. It's not too big by any means. We're dealing with, you know, potentially, 50 60 plus pound fish here and they can easily eat that what we're gonna do i guess we've never really done this before never used brim as bait but i think we're just gonna hook hook this like straight through the back right here behind the uh the dorsal there we go there he is that should be good and we're gonna send this thing out here it's super shallow right up in here so i think i'm gonna walk this rod out to basically the end of this this island thing right here and then walk it all the way back. There we go, baby. Bait. 
getting deployed. So we just walked all the way up through here. And uh, this is where really the main river is. There's a lot of current flowing through here. So we're gonna give this thing a good send out into the deep. All right, here goes nothing. See ya, buddy. Perfect, that'll work. We'll basically just let, let the bail out and walk it pretty much all the way back to camp. So here goes nothing. Okay guys, I'm gonna grab another bluegill here and take it over to this other rod. Here we go, here's a nice little one. There we go, that'll work. All right guys, the other thing I'm gonna take is this, this little bell. When a fish is biting on these rods that are, you know, a little bit further away from us, we're not gonna be able to run and get to them as fast. So we definitely need something to notify us. So here's this setup over here. a little bit lighter weight a little bit smaller hook and uh it's really deep right here though so i think i'm just gonna drop this one off right into this deep water right in front of us hooked up this guy's not quite as lively we'll see we'll see how well he does but uh oh there he goes he's flipping now i think i'm literally just gonna toss it like right out in here that did not work out too well let me try to toss it a little bit better golly well that'll have to work I think it'll be all right though. It's pretty deep, definitely deep right here. You can tell my weight just kept going and going and going. That line kept, kept dropping. We'll grab our bell. I think I can actually walk this over to this rock right here and basically prop, prop the rod up. This will actually work perfectly. There's some nice moss on this thing. Perfect. We can basically just leave it like this. That should be nice. And, uh, We'll leave this one. Let's set the drag down just a little bit, just in case, you know, a really giant one comes along. Don't want our rod to <laughs> get sea duded Then we'll set our bell up on the tip, just like that. Perfect. So any anything that hits this, that bell is gonna be ringing, ring a ling ling and ring a dang dang and all right two rods set up we got uh two more honestly i think we're just gonna go with three because four you know it's pretty pretty unmanageable for three people i mean it's not but i think we're gonna try to simplify as much as possible guys we got a fish we got a fish we got a fish already already oh my god oh my god he's running he's running i'm tightening the drag up he stopped running Dude, is he still there is he still there no, I don't feel him anymore. Dude, he must have he must have taken that bluegill off. Oh that was a fish, bro. Oh dude, that, that drag was peeling. Alright, we gotta check it. Yeah, we gotta. That was a full bluegill. How that was loose? a big one. How loose was the drag set? It was loose, very loose. Wow. Unreal. Hold on. No, it's hung right there. All right, we're going to have to walk out there and check it. Golly, dude. If he stole that bluegill, that's going to be sad. Bro, that was possibly a big one. He'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, we need to be ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't, I wasn't ready. ready. All right, guys, I'm going to go check this line. Uh, holy moly, that, that was a huge hit. I don't know how much of that y'all are going to see on camera. We we're scrambling to get the camera stuff set up because we didn't think it would it would happen that quick. Hey, hey, y'all, we need to make sure that line doesn't go here soon. That line is deployed. So, and that one doesn't have the drag like this one. So, oh my God, <laughs> craziness already, y'all. All right, here goes nothing, y'all. About to toss this dude back out there. Uh, right where we got bit. So hopefully this works out good. There we go. That's a good one. Yep, that'll work. Okay, we are set back up. I'm gonna set this drag very low. We want that dude to be able to just run with it without any resistance so he can completely engulf that bait that next time. So, you know, he, he obviously tore the bait free from the hook last time. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I set the drag a lot lower. Man, that was exciting. 
Let's do it again. Okay, update time. It is, what time is it? One. It's one? It's one, one nineteen, one twenty a.m. And uh, it's raining outside. I don't know if y'all can hear that on the roof here, but it's raining. Our fire's still going strong, but we just, we, we had to get out of the rain there. And really no other action. We had, we had a little hit there just now, but we just got to stick it out for another, what? <laughs> Like six, seven hours here till daylight comes. This guy's asleep. He's done. I'm not asleep. I'm good. I'm just meditating. Oh, really? You good? Meditating. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the wee hours. This is the home stretch here. Hopefully, we can get a couple more bites. Hopefully, a big one is still swimming around out here. Fingers crossed. Let's get it. Bell, 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 bell. Is it this guy? Which one? Which one? Big one. It's the big one. It's the big one. It's the big one. It's the big one. Yeah, he's going. Hold on. Let him run. Let him run. Let him run. Let him run. All right, I'm tightening. I'm tightening. Yeah, he's on. He's on, baby. He's on. I can't tell. Oh crap, it's stuck. No, it came off. Ah, damn it, it's stuck again. Ah. Ah, he's not on. He's not on. Jeez. Oh, Keeps getting stuck. There it goes. I need to switch to another weight. Yeah, I know. Probably a lighter one. Dang it, man. He was peeling drag again. Wow, golly. Again, dude. Yeah, she's coming. There he goes. I'm definitely not on there anymore. Damn. Well, fooled again. <laughs> I don't know if I should be letting those fish take it for longer or if we should be setting the hook right away, you know? But I think one thing's for sure, we need to use some lighter weight. Um, and maybe, you know, not this pyramid sinker because it's getting hung up on these rocks pretty good. All right, we're learning though, as progress. As two really good takes so far on this setup, just, just no hook into the fish. So we need to get a new sinker on, a fresh, fresh bluegill and get it back out there. God dang, man craziness all right let's do it here we go guys got another one all right we are back at the launch the launch zone right, launch this guy back out there there we go that was a good cast all right walk her back All right, guys, all set. Third time's a charm, hopefully. I don't know, I just can't imagine a fish. Yep, yep, there we go. Got bumped again. Yep, 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 oh my god. Yeah, big time, big time, big time, big time. It's going, it's going, it's going. I'm letting them go, dude, I'm letting them go. He's got it. Yep. No, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it, dude. What on earth? 
Bro. Is it? Yeah, I'm on the top of the boat. Yeah. It's kind of like a cowbell. It's a hard knock. Do you hear it? Hard knock. Not good, it's going. Yeah, yeah it's going. It sounded pretty strong. I, I heard what you were hearing. That was insane, dude. He was peeling drag. And then he's gone. How, how does that happen? So let's wait just another second. I don't know. I don't know like what, why he's pulling out drag and then all of a sudden he's not. It might be because he's, he feels the resistance and then he drops the bait. Because there is a little bit of resistance there. Yeah, so maybe just don't let him, don't even let him fill it. Yeah. yeah. Probably need to set another one out. Nope, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, dude, God, dude. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it, I yanked it away from him. I just, I just pulled that out of his mouth. Yeah, I watched. All right, let's do it. Gotta reset the big rod, y'all. We gotta get it unstuck first, but I should hopefully be able to do that. Yeah, I definitely hung up. Swimming? <laughs> How far out is it? It's right here. You might be able to reach it just waiting. Alright. Give me a sight so I can see you. I got a place to put this. God. For real? Yes. Yep. Get him. Get him. Let's go. Let's go, baby. CJ's got one. You got him on? Let's go, let's go. No, hey, it's the drag, it's the drag. Tighten the drag. Here, I got it, I got it, I got it. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Yeah, now go, now go. You're good. Oh yeah, all right, sweet. He's on. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Let's go, oh, God, oh, it's, dude, a it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh my God, bro, this thing is heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Still coming? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, look at that big, rod, bro. Look at that rod. Oh my God, head. dude. Oh go get the net, go get the net. See if you can bring him up. See if you can bring him up. Oh dude, he's big. Yeah, we can tell we, we can see what uh, kind of catfish oh. he is. Should I it's let probably him have a flat. Some drag? Yeah, let him have some drag. Let him have some drag. Alright, here we got the net. Okay. I'm gonna switch with Levi here. There you go. There he is. Yeah, that's yeah. a big flathead, it looks like. Big oh, flathead. Big flathead. Oh my god, baby, let's go! Look at that thing! <laughs> Yo, let's freaking go! Oh my god, y'all, look at that! That is a That's a big one! That's a big, a big one! Oh, jeez, he's so heavy! Oh, oh, oh. Yes! <laughs> that is what we came here for. That is a river monster right there. Wow. Yes. Dude. Yes. <laughs> Look at that freaking fish. That's a slab right there. Dude. <laughs> Unbelievable, bro. God dang. I thought you were messing with us, Siege. I really did. I thought you were messing with us. I thought you literally walked over there and started doing some CJ BS, <laughs> like shaking the thing. All right, dude, pull that sucker out. <laughs> Just lift it. <laughs> oh Look at that fish. Boom. Boom. That's a giant. <laughs> He's so heavy. He's gotta be, he might be like 40 pounds. I think he's getting close. Yeah. I feel bad y'all were out there doing the work. As soon as y'all left, this big old sucker hit. It's insane, dude. <laughs> absolutely insane. Our first fish of the night. And it's an absolute tank. An absolute slab. And I'm exhausted. I'm sure you are, man. I'm exhausted. Like, holy moly. This thing is huge. Hold it up one more time, up to the chest. Oh. <laughs> that was oh. insane. All right, let's get him released. Yeah. Just an absolute freaking river beast, dude. This is exactly what we came out here to do. Let's catch, oh, he's ready. Catch fish like this. And here he goes. Dude, what a giant. What a giant. 
See ya, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. Yes. Right freaking Let's go. here. Let's go, baby. <laughs> that was awesome. That was what awesome. Here for? So after that fish, that was pretty much a wrap on the night. We stuck around for a little bit longer. We waited till the morning till it got light out. Uh, we had a few more bites, but again, couldn't hook up. Uh, super frustrating, but uh, we ended up packing it up in the morning and uh, going and getting some breakfast because we were just super hungry. But just an amazing trip. Amazing to catch that flathead catfish. Don't know how big it was. I, I think I mentioned 40 pounds in the video, but it might've been, I don't know, maybe more so in the 30 range. Comment down below what you think. We, we didn't have a scale. We have really had no idea. Either way, it was a big one. It was a big one to us being new to the catfish game. Just so stoked to catch that fish. Truly a river, Cape Fear River monster. If you're a serious catfish angler, let us know in the comments. Let us know maybe some stuff we did wrong, some stuff we can improve next time, because man, it could have been a downright epic day if we had only improved our landing percentage on a lot of those hits. But guys, that's a wrap on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing. It really helps us out, really helps us grow. We're trying to do this full time. We wanna make awesome, epic, cinematic fishing videos for you guys and go on more and more adventures. Thank you so much. And hey, remember, all it takes is one, baby. Slab out. <laughs>